So we have uh, five team members. Uh, Mark Holyoke is the oldest of the team, and he's been to, this is his third Commonwealth Games, and uh, he's a pommel specialist. Uh, Misha Kudinov, who's from North Harbour Gymnastics, and he's um, uh, been to, his, this is his second Commonwealth Games, and uh, he's a good, strong all-rounder for us. Patrick Beng, who's from TriStar Gymnastics, and he's uh, also a good all-rounder and strong on rings and vault. Matthew Palmer has moved up from Benham, and, uh, and uh, he's also training at TriStar, and he's a uh, strong rings member. And finally, we've got uh, Brandon Field, who's the, uh, the baby of the team, and, uh, and he's contributing on a number of events, but particularly for involved. So, good, strong team. We're definitely going there to, you know, make history and be a team that, that makes New Zealand proud and, you know, can take a medal home or two. As long as we hit everything, the best we can do, I feel we do have a shot as long as everything goes in our favour, so hopefully something, we pull something out of the bag, so yeah. I guess we've been around for a wee bit, we got, I mean the two all-rounders were at last game, so they have four years down the track, and myself being there, and then um, Matt and Brandon as specialists, we, we just work quite well as a team. Compare the difficulty in our sets that we had from last Commonwealth Games, there's lots and lots yeah. of improvements there. So um, in terms of difficulty, we could definitely get that third spot that we're going for. This is the strongest team that New Zealand's ever put forward to Commonwealth Games uh, for a number of reasons. We have you know, an outside shot at a medal in the, in the team event, and that's what we're shooting for. Uh, but certainly in the all-around and on uh, individual apparatus, we have, you know, a, a number of guys that could certainly make finals and, you know, sneak away with the medal as well, and that's what we're hoping for. That would be nice, especially for the, the guys to do it. So, yeah, no, I think we'd be disappointed if we didn't um, succeed somewhere. we got a few chances, so hopefully we, we take a few of them. Certainly we've tried to build a team that's uh, even across the six apparatus, um, so we don't have any obvious weaknesses. The format with the, it's uh, five in a team, four up on each apparatus, three to count, works really well for us. And so, yeah, with Patrick and Misha leading the way with the team event and then us backing them up as specialists, then, yeah, we we got a reasonable chance. I started doing recreational gymnastics just um, after school. My parents sent me to like a YMCA thing in, out in Waitakere and um, I just, started playing in the pit and running around and jumping into the foam and stuff and um, there was a scout there and she said it'd be good if I tried some competitive gymnastics and yeah, just went up the ranks from there. Uh, well, as a kid I walked at a really early age, uh, seven months, so that's early for a child I guess and just being real active as a child and then parents took me along to the gym classes and then went through the general gym, play gym. I started with my sister, she, she was doing gymnastics and she roped my parents into letting me do it. Um, I also played rugby and cricket but I don't know, I just liked the, uh, the excitement of doing front somersaults and, and you know, twisting and stuff like that. My grandfather, grandmother from my mother's side were gymnasts, they did it back in the day and um, both my parents also did gymnastics and they went into coaching afterwards so I guess it was kind of natural for me to just start. came to New Zealand when I was six years old and I started playing around the gym a little bit because they were coaching and then they just said it's about time for them to start. On a good week I'll train between 30 and 35 hours um, and I, I go to uni as well so I have to juggle that as well. Um, but yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, I guess like my friends, they've kind of just gotten used to the fact that I'm always training so sometimes I don't get invited out to things, sometimes I like miss out on things but yeah, sacrifices I guess. Because I'm a specialist now, I train about 20 hours a week, whereas uh, I well, probably used to train up 30 and beyond. But um, I look after the body a little bit more now than I once did. Oh, I'm kind of known as the uh, gymnastics nerd. So, uh, you know, if I'm not in the gym, I'm either thinking about it, I... YouTube. You know, I talk to all my gym friends overseas. So, um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't really have much of a life outside of training. I'll admit that. Because yeah, everyone knows it. I mean, even the guys in Australia you know. <laughs> yeah. With me, I'm always. We try to take him out, but <laughs> he he's pretty focused on his gymnastics. <laughs> well, I mean, it's so much fun. Like, it's just you come in, you can play. There's so much to do. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm I'm obsessed with it. It's all I want to do. Well, we have a team goal for a medal. Um, we're an outside shot for a medal. Um, I think we're, we're ranked fourth 
but uh, you know, hopefully we have a good day. Maybe someone has a bad day. A team medal would be really, really cool. Um, and individually, I'm, I'm kind of looking for a medal as well. The big thing is the team. Like, I, we're aiming for that bronze, and it would, um, well, that's the big goal. And then for myself, I guess i got some personal goals on parallel bars and the pommel horse. So if I hit those, then that'll put me through to the final, and then we'll see what happens in the final, hopefully.